Hi, this is SynthChaser from SynthChaser.com. A couple years ago I designed a MIDI adapter for the ARP Quadra. Due to supply chain issues at the time, I was only able to get a few of them manufactured before parts quickly became unavailable. Now it's 2023 and I'm able to get all the parts again, and I'm going to be making another short run of my Quadra MIDI adapters. So I wanted to really briefly show you how easy it is to install and how seamlessly it works with all four sections of the Quadra, including Aftertouch and the Sequencer. Installing my Quadra MIDI is easy. You just unscrew and lift the lid of your Quadra. This board here is the keyboard electronics board, and all you're going to do is you're going to replace that board with the MIDI adapter. The batteries are located here, and with the lid closed, that's directly over the keyboard electronics board. So there's usually battery corrosion all over this board anyway, like this one. So good riddance to it. You just disconnect a few cables and remove a few screws. Then you can take that board out and replace it with the MIDI adapter. And here it is installed. The kit comes with in, out, and through jacks, so other than possibly making holes for those jacks, no other modifications to the synthesizer are needed. It's just a straight replacement of this board. I designed it this way to be a simple, elegant solution that requires no hacking up of your keyboard and no permanent modifications. On this particular Quadra, I've mounted the in and out jacks, and now I'll show you how the MIDI adapter works. So, uh, unfortunately, right be before I decided to develop this uh, product, I got rid of my 61 key MIDI controller that had aftertouch. So I have this little one that has aftertouch. Uh, and the reason I want to show you one with one that has aftertouch is because the MIDI adapter supports aftertouch. Uh, it receives aftertouch in messages and processes them as if you were playing on the actual key bed. The advantage is, <clears throat> with the uh, stock key bed, the aftertouch bar is only located under the top three octaves. So when you're playing lead on five octaves, you only get aftertouch here. Well, when you're now when you're playing with a MIDI controller and using aftertouch, uh, you get MIDI uh, aftertouch control over the full five octaves. Quadra does have CV in, CV and gate in jacks, but it's only for the bass and the lead synthesizer sections. You can't use the internal sequencer via um, the CV in. Um, and so there's, there's lots of limitations, um, interfacing limitations with the Quadra, and this kind of opens up a lot of new possibilities. For example, now you have MIDI control over strings and polysynth, and uh, no functionality of the Quadra, you know, none of the sound is being changed or anything like that. It's just the uh, assigning of notes. Um, and um, so it works for all four sections. So let's do uh, bass. And again, this is where it's just as if I'm playing on the key bed of the quadra. And then this is where the cutoff is for the bass. Um, string bass works just the same. If I turn strings up in the mix. priority is still preserved. Um, it's just as if you were playing on the key bed. Uh, the strings section, the poly strings. There's no difference. The poly synth also works through the MIDI. So we'll turn that on. And... same as if you're playing the key bit. And then finally the lead synthesizer. Now here's the cool part. We turn on, uh, let's do, uh, let's turn the cutoff frequency down so you can hear this. Okay, now we'll turn on the, the uh, volume and brilliance after touch effect. So. So that's through the, uh, the key bed. And then, so here, I have no aftertouch because I'm off the touch sensor, which ends here. 
Here I have it. But watch this. So now I'm getting aftertouch off that third octave, off the top three octaves. So if I had a six, uh, a five, a five octave MIDI controller, I'd be able to show you that better. But so this adds uh, aftertouch control. You can still use the internal sequencer. Um, So uh, you can mix and match the sections, you can use the uh, aftertouch, it's great. Uh, there's also MIDI out, your notes that you, you press on the keyboard are sent out as MIDI messages. Aftertouch is also sent out as a MIDI message, but again, since the aftertouch sensor is physically only under this portion of the key bed, uh, you'll only get aftertouch out. And there you have it. At the time of this video, I'm taking pre-orders on my website only for the second short run of these MIDI adapters. I'm not sure if or when I'll do another run of these, so if you're watching this video at a later date, check my website for availability. This has been Synthchaser from SynthChaser.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Synth